What's up guys, in today's video I want to show you how to use Redux with React Native. So right now I have a React Native project open and I'm just going to first install the libraries that we're going to need. First is Redux and the second is React Redux which lets you basically connect to Redux in your React app. Okay, so I have a basic React Native app open here. Um, if you'd like to know how I set up this application, I'll put a link in the description below. But the first thing I want to do is I'm going to create a store.js and I'm going to import create store from Redux and then I am going to import the root reducer from reducers. So we need to create some reducers, we haven't created any yet. And I'm just going to export default create store and then pass in the root reducer. And then my index, what I'm going to do is I'm going to import provider from React Redux. And then I'm just going to wrap my routes and the provider. And now we just have to pass it a store, which, and let's move this down here, I can get from the store.js folder. So we can import that in and we can pass the store to our provider. So this is the root of the uh, React Native app and I'm just wrapping the whole thing in a provider, passing in the store that we just created and in the middle here we have routes. And this is just, a routes is just a uh, using React Native router flux and we got our page one, two, and three. Okay. So we have those set up. Now let's say, for example, I want to set up page one so I can click a button and we basically just increment a counter. So to do this, what I'm going to do is I'm first going to create a new folder called page one. And then I'm going to move page one inside of page one. And I'm going to call it view. And then I'm going to create a new folder in here called index.js, not folder, but class. Now here is how we connect a component so it can see the Redux store. If I just pop right over here, right now I have in the web browser open is the React Redux um, basically documentation showing you how to do it. So I'm just going to copy straight from their documentation how to set up and connect your component. So I'm going to copy this over here. And you can see, let's, I'll just go line by line and I'll explain what's going on. And they're also importing import connect from React Redux. Okay, so connect is what says connect the store or Redux to my component. Bind action creators allows you to dispatch actions from your components. Here we're importing all our actions. Um, what we'll do is we'll create a folder called actions. So if we go up to, we'll create that next and we can import all our actions. And then here, what we're doing is we're saying, uh, you have stuff in the state. We now want to add that to the props so we can access it from our component. Right now we don't have anything, so I'm just going to get rid of that. And then right here, we're dispatching some actions. We have no actions, but when we do have actions, um, it'll add it here so I can now call these actions for my component. And then right here, we're gonna say view, and connect is where all the magic happens. We say add the these props, or add this stuff to the props. Right now we're gonna add nothing, and add these actions to the props. So now my view component, and its props have access to these actions and these, um, this state. So right now there's no state and there's pretty much no actions. But if there was, we'd be able to access them here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, just a basic um, action. So actions. And for now, let's actually, I'm just going to call it actions.js. So delete. Yes, I'm going to call it actions.js. Oops, I don't want it here. 
I want to move it up to the root directory. What do I don't have it in the root directory. Oh, okay, I thought actions was inside of routes. Okay. And then we're going to export const increment counter. And this is going to take no parameters, and all it's going to do is we're going to return an object of the type increment. Okay, so now we're going to go to, um, we're going to create a reducer. So reducers. And inside there we'll have an index.js. So here we're going to import combined reducers from React Redux. And then we're just going to export default combined reducers. And then we'll, for now we'll just have one reducer. We'll call it counter from counter. We'll just pass that into our reducer here. And now we can create counter.js. So this is gonna be a reducer for that we just added here. Here we're just gonna export default. It's gonna take a state it's going to start at zero and action. And what we can do is we can actually just, since we know it's only going to have a type, so we can just expand it and grab its type, do a switch statement on type, and we can say case if it's equal to increment. We can return state plus one. Default, we're just going to return state. Okay, so this is going to be our reducer. And now, what we'd like to do is call increment and see it increase. So, also now notice how we have right here I called something called counter. So, if I want to access the value of counter, I can get it right here. So, counter is equal to state.counter. And now, in my view here, I can grab in the props. So this is the props. So notice how I have a pure function right here. So they pass the props in um, like this. Uh, I'm just gonna expand it and grab the, um, what did I just call it, counter? Yeah. And I'm also gonna get the action increment counter. So I'm gonna create a new button here that's called increment a new text and the text here is just going to have the value of counter and increment here instead of calling actions we're now just going to call increment counter okay and I think that's all wired up I might have some syntax errors but let's refresh this and see what's going on so this is the screen that will pop up if you get something wrong in React Native. So unterminated JSX contents and in index. Um, and it looks like it's source index. So if I come here, source index, I just forgot to close the provider. I can refresh. And we have an unexpected token. Oh, I know exactly where that's going to be actually. Um, is it there actually? I wasn't expecting it actually here. It's saying line one of counter. So it says reducers counter, unexpected token. We're getting a semicolon line one. And there's no semicolon here. Oh, haha. <laughs> I was using the wrong syntax. There we go. So for, I was using anonymous function right here, and you have to put your parameters here, and then arrow function, and this is the body of my function. Okay, I was just using the wrong syntax. Refresh, can't find variable view, and come back, index. We just forgot to import it here, so import 
Um, this is in our connect. So right here we're in this index file and we're getting the view component. Our view component is right here. It has our counter and our increment counter. So we need to give it increment counter and counter. So to do that, our index right here, we're connecting those. And we're getting the counter from here and we're getting the uh, increment counter from our action creators. And actually it's gonna be actions um, act increment counter. So actions. So we just need to wrap it one more time. There we go. Now let's try refreshing that. Oh, hello world crashed. Refresh. Undefined is not a function. And we just crashed the amp all together. Let's just try rerunning it. React native run Android. And it could be something wrong with my counter here. Combined reducers. It might be combined reducer. And we're importing reducers in our store, right? Yep. So reducers, and we're grabbing the index, root reducer, and we're exporting default. That looks pretty good. Okay, so it's crashing because combine reducer. Oh, that's from Redux, not React Redux. And so I can rerun the app. So combine reducers is from Redux, not React Redux. Um, I'm thinking now it should build okay. You'll see. Notice how when I get the uh, state or the Redux store messed up, it just crashes the app altogether. We get an error screen and it crashes the whole thing. So this is I just rebuilding the app right now. If we come back over here, we can see the progress of it. Oh, and it just finished building. Okay, and we can see it here. Cool, now we see our little zero. If I click this, we can see it incrementing up. So that is how you add Redux in with uh, your React Native app. So now you can add more advanced actions and uh, reducers and make your app uh, larger and add more things to it. So I hope this helps and you can now add your own Redux uh, reducers to your React Native apps. And I'll see you guys in the next video.